assalamu alaikum everyone so in today's video we are going to uh, create a schematic and layout of uh, inverter and we'll do the post uh, post simulation on uh, virtuoso cadence virtuoso so first create a new folder on the desktop uh, note that uh, you should not give a name with spaces at the place of spaces you should uh, write the underscores because it will create the problem uh, in the future so just create it let's open it now go to the terminal now write um, the following command csh and then source slash home slash cadence slash cshrc uh, so it is showing the window of chip to startup and now type virtuoso and press on. So it will take some time to open. Just wait for it. File, new library. Now here you can give your user defined uh, name. Let me write test and click on attach an existing technology and click on OK. Uh, now here is the technology libraries. I'm going to use GPDK 90, 90 nanometer technology. Uh, click on OK. Okay. So just ignore this uh, and note that you should uh, see uh, this is the log file. You should see this every time whenever you do changes in your file so that uh, uh, you should uh, know what is going wrong with your schematic or anything uh, so as we I have, I have created test so here it is it's selected and let me give the name inverter to myself and selected schematic okay and say, click on session so here uh, it, the window of the virtues is open so from here I need a CMOS uh, uh, and nmos and pmos to create a cmos inverter so i should create click on this create instance or use a shortcut key i click on i and browse library now here is the gptk 90 library from which i need to take nmos and pmos so just hide this and here nmos is selected click left click and click on escape to uh, uh, deselect this selected nmos click escape now again click i and go on browse and go to select pmos pmos version 1 pmos 1v and click on hide I stack pmos at the top of the nmos just click on escape uh, to zoom to the schematic click on F so here it is zoomed uh, now click on W to select wire or use this option to create narrow wire I am clicking on W now like this left click left click and uh, this is the body terminal and this will be connected to the source terminal of PMOS the body terminal of NMOS which should be connected to the source terminal of the NMOS and drain of the PMOS and NMOS should be connected now let's take the pin input output and VDD and ground pins uh, as I have create, uh, created the input selected the input so take VIN uh, GND and VDD pins and click on hide it is selected VN. Then this is the GND. Uh, to rotate this uh, tag, click on R one time, and then click. And this is the VDD. Take it to the top and click again R and R. Selected. Now click on pin for the output pin. Select direction output and click on V out. Bye. Okay, let's hide it and take it to the output. 
okay let's wire click on w and select these okay so it will be selected to this this will be selected to this mouse is selected to this okay now my schematic is created for the inverter uh, let's go to the save and click on save and check and just after clicking this go to your log uh, okay you can see the check is conveyed with no errors so it is done uh, now create new cell view for the layout or, or uh, before layout we should go to the invert uh, we uh, create this cell uh, to a box so go to create and go to cell view from cell view uh, library let's take it library inverter name of the component will be inverter and just apply this and this is the left pin left pin is vn top pin is vdd and the bottom pin is gnd so it will convert our uh, this schematic into a symbol which we will use in our uh, later in the uh, post layout symbol uh, in the layout symbol to inverter is inverter and save it okay. Okay. now everything is set and see there is no error now go to file new cell view Let's write the inverter test bench inverter.tv to uh, see the simulations. Now go to the instance, I click on I and go to the library which I have created earlier. Test and here is the test inverter symbol. Now it is selected. Left click on it. Select this one is here is the V in VDD, GND, and V out pin. Okay, now zoom out. Now I have a need to connect the components like VDD, V in, and V out. So go to instance, click on I, browse. Uh, so the components uh, will be found in analog library. So just Take the ground. Here's the ground pin. I need three grounds here, here, and here. So click on escape button. Note that you should not put uh, any component inside this rectangle, otherwise, it will show you error. So now click on I. Go to browse and select the EDC, EDC is the DC voltage, and as I am using the 90 nanometer, so its maximum voltage will be the 1.8, um, 1.8 volt. So I will give the 1.8 volt DC. Hide this. Uh, to rotate this, use the R button. This is the rotated view. Okay. escape this and I need to take the input uh, which should be a pulse so let's take a pulse click on I and go to the analog library and write P pulse here is the pulse so I need to give the DC voltage 1.8 volts or just don't write DC voltage give the two voltages between pulse 1.0 and 1.8 volt uh, period should be 20 nanometer uh, let's give delay time 0 rise time 1 nanoseconds fall time 1 nanoseconds and pulse width will be half of the period 10 nanoseconds just hide this and 
put this on the com okay just escape it let's do wiring clicking w let's wire this have done so let's put the pins on the input and output so output is tracking let's write v out and here should be the v out let's again select direction will be input and take the v in with this click on w and just connect this to the input terminal and this output to the output terminal now everything is done click on escape and save it and check and save and go to the virtual so as you can see uh, a schematic check completed with no error test tb okay everything is saved so to simulate this go to the launch adel and here click on sessions here is the ADL window to simulate just click on ADC transient let's uh, take it for the 100 nanosecond and then apply here you can see the <coughs> selected uh, analysis and now I'm going to vary the input so here's the component parameter so for input i need to select this pulse dc voltage and click on ok here it is selected now so its voltage should vary from 0 to 1.8 volt and click on apply and ok uh, here you can see the selected values uh, and i have to see the output uh, plots of v, v in and v out so i should select this and this to see the input and output characteristics as you can see here everything is set so uh, let's click this uh, it it may be it may give you error uh, i will tell you why so it shows the error uh, this is uh, due to the cadence virtuoso tool which is uh, which i am using on the server so if you see this so you need to just close this everything should be closed no don't save this and just cancel everything and just log out Now click on again connect. Now again sign in with your okay, now go to the inverter window, go to the terminal now. Uh, you can use your up, uh, up arrow key to use the history commands past commands okay now go to open if i have already created everything go to the test library and here is the inverter.tv so click on ok session ok just go to the launch ADEL session, session session now 
okay so it is a schematic now again put the same values which i have used earlier 100 nanoseconds moderate apply and go to the dc value save this component select component this component should be vary in dc value okay now it will vary between 0 and 1.8 volt click on apply and okay now go to outputs to be plotted select output v in and v out should be selected and click on run now you can see the inverter uh, characteristics uh, green shows the v in and red shows the v out and here is the characteristics of input versus output characteristics uh, this is the input this is the output so this is the threshold point at the 700 and approx 700 millivolt okay